Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, I'm Sheree. Welcome. If you happen to be returning, you are truly appreciated. Thank you so much and welcome back. Today we have a very special video. This is a subscriber request. Actually, she DM'd me on Instagram. So hello. You guys, if you're not following me on Instagram, like hello, how are we even friends? Pause the video. I always tell you this. I'm going to put my Instagram handle right here. Head over and make sure you tap the follow. Don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on the notification bell. Okay, now that we got that out the way her request was Sheree can you please what did she say you know I'm getting ready to make up something it's what I do anyways it says hey Sheree can you do a video on luxury perfumes on a budget can you recommend five what five would you buy luxury fragrances on a budget hold on because I always feel like I have lipstick on my teeth growl okay no I don't <laughs> okay five on a budget now this is always where I get kind of stuck because I'm like on a budget i don't know what your budget is you guys help me out leave in the comment section below what do you think affordable luxury fragrances would be as far as price goes now i was thinking somewhere about maybe a hundred dollars and am i off i was thinking a hundred dollars and below i believe these fragrances here are um probably about a hundred a little bit over but if you get the small size okay and this is something that you can do especially if you're starting your collection and you want to have a large collection and you want to you know have you know a array of fragrances you don't really necessarily get you don't necessarily it wouldn't even be my video if I was talking fluent all the way through. You don't necessarily need to get the largest size, especially, you know, when you have a large collection. Right now, I will not buy large sizes. Some fragrances only come in the large sizes, and I look for them in decants if I can because I have so many that I'm never really going to use it. So that's tip number one is what I would say. Start with a smaller size if you can, and if you love the fragrance, you know, you can always go back and repurchase it, or if you feel that you're using it that fast, then I would say probably go with the larger fragrance size. Okay, grow why are we here so I'm thinking luxury when I think luxury I think anywhere where it's fancy and fabulous dwelling everything that we love over here okay so I'm gonna say the budget is about a hundred fifty a hundred twenty a hundred dollars okay let's just use all three of those prices so I'm gonna go with Gucci bloom I love Gucci bloom it's really good in the spring it's really good in the um, fall I like it all year round to be honest with you it's a beautiful fragrance it's very rose but it's not an old rose it's more of a modern rose it's very chic it's classic it's timeless to me the bottle is absolutely everything I love the bottle as well it's beautiful to have sitting on your vanity on your dresser anywhere like that and it's Gucci okay so it is a luxury this would be a great fragrance I'm gonna pop the notes on the screen because I'm not gonna really dive into notes I'm just saying this will forever be in my collection it smells luxurious and this would be a way to go if you're looking for something of luxury I move on another one that's gorgeous on the vanity as well that would be YSL Lieb you guys I cannot stop talking about this this does have a beautiful sexy vanilla note in here this is the intense version this right here is absolutely gorgeous it is luxurious okay sitting on any vanity sitting on any dresser especially if you have a cute little tray to sit them in you don't want too many like I have back here that's like way too many but I'm running out of room okay so don't do as I do do as I say hello <laughs> cute more like if you have a round tray about eight to ten look kind of good on a tray because you can still see what they are this back here don't even don't don't at me don't don't anyways but this would be a beautiful way to go this is a very sexy date night-esque kind of fragrance it is very signature all of these are going to be signature worthy as well because I want you to get your money's worth so not only are they going to be luxury are they going to be fancy and fabulous they're also going to be signature scent worthy and very long lasting and this one here is YSL Lead. like I said this will be good for date night it will be good for a signature scent this can just fit the bill and it can get it okay I move on this beautiful fragrance right here oh my god it's Hermes dueling of course it's Hermes Hermes I'm probably saying that wrong somebody told me hi Mez, and I'm like I know that's not how it goes but um I'm gonna say Hermes okay and that is this one here truly the Hermes this is a beautiful signature scent this has a beautiful ginger note in it it's very warm it's very fitting for right now again another one that you can wear year-round you know some people would say don't rock it in the summer you know what she says over here spray what you want spray it when you want and spray as much of it as you want it's your fragrance do you so that's how I feel about this fragrance I believe it could be good for the 
the office. It's good for work. It's a nice signature scent. It's a little sexy, not a whole lot. Very classy, very timeless, very elegant. And as I stated, it is Hermes. Okay, I move on. This would be a fabulous choice. Another one would be this one here, Dolce and Gabbana. Okay, and this is the only one, but this is the intense version. I love this version. This is a beautiful, sexy fragrance. It's really nice for date night. I love it on date night straight. Don't spray it because you're getting dressed to go. Don't spray it. But it's beautiful. It's very sexy. It's very timeless. Everything is going to be sexy. That's another thing. It's going to be signature scent worthy. It's going to be affordable, luxury, fabulous, and fancy, according to me. And it's also going to be sexy because if you're not sexy, I don't even want you in my collection. Like, why are you here? Hello? Are you here to help? Okay, because I need to put the pressure on. It's time to apply pressure, ladies. Pressure, okay? This right here is pressure. <laughs> this is really good. This is another way to go. This is very long lasting. It gets on my skin. It holds it tight. It never lets it go. I do overspray. I told you that. I tell you that all the time. I'm an oversprayer, so I spray really heavy with this one. But this is a great way to go. It's got a nice coconut note in here. It's got some green apple. It's got some vanilla. It is just a very sexy fragrance. I move on. Another fabulous choice would be Tiffany Sheer. Tiffany Co. Sheer. This one is a little lighter than the original. This is the Sheer version, but this is really nice. If you're looking for something just year-round, beautiful, fresh, clean, right out of the shower, run errands, go do what you have to do. This is not doing too much. It's not doing too less. It's doing just enough. This can fit the bill. And this one right here is really good. This is just an easy reach. This is, you always want to have something like this in your collection when you're like, I don't know what to wear. I don't know what to reach for. Um, I don't know what mood I'm in. I don't know what I'm feeling. I'm kind of feeling blah. I don't really know. This is it. It's it's an easy, easy reach. You pick it up, you spray it. It smells fabulous. It's good. It's clean. It's crisp. It's dressy even, but it's laid back. It's casual even, but it's dressy. You know what I mean? It's just a one and done. This is seriously like a one and done. Cold weather, I really don't reach for this, but that doesn't mean that it can't be worn in cold weather. I just have so many other ones that I reach for, but this would be nice in cold weather because it's very crisp. This is one of the ones that if someone was walking in back of you and you had sprayed your sweater and you sprayed your trench coat and you were walking through, you had cute boots on, the heel couldn't be too high though because you'd have to be kind of like moving you know what I mean and then the wind was blowing and then this fragrance blew back and they got a whiff of it oh my gosh it's gonna smell like you care I'm gonna park that right there I move on and then of course any vanity okay should be graced with you know what it is right Chanel, of course, Doreen, of course. Luxury, fabulous, fancy, iconic, timeless, priceless, nostalgic. Hello, did I say Chanel, Doreen? Of course. This is a beautiful bottle sitting on any vanity, any dresser, Anytime you wake up and see this, well, anytime I wake up and see Chanel, I just get excited. You guys, I just start smiling, okay? Sometime, to be honest with you, oh my God, I have a 2.5 story time I need to tell you guys. Oh my gosh, you gotta stay in here, the story, you gotta stay. Listen, let me finish this. Anytime I wake up in the morning sometime and I'm taking pictures or of, of the fragrances, I always go over and I just look at the Chanel section and I'm like, oh my God, I just get so excited. Fragrances just make me so happy. This one right here is the Patchouli Tonka Bean. It is beautiful. If you do not like patchouli, I would probably say sample this first if you don't have it already, but this has been like my, what, 10th bottle that I've purchased. This right here is good, good. I mean, you can't get any more fancy, fabulous, and just luxury uh, or luxurious than this right here. This is Coco Mademoiselle Chanel Doreen, of course. So this would be a fabulous way to go. Now I'm going to recommend this one. This would be my first pick. If you're saying, Shrey, what would you select in your five? I know I gave you more than five, but I just wanted to give a vast variety, but this would definitely be number one. I'm just saying. Okay, I move on. Okay, but anyway, so here it is. So I'm at the Trader Joe's. I had to look at my face to make sure I'm in focus. Okay, so I'm at Trader Joe's, right? And I just put on a sweatshirt. You know, I tell you, I have two looks. And if you can relate, hit the like button. I have two looks. I look like this, or I look, um, I don't want to use a, a word that's not respectful, or I just look homeless. Like, who are you? Where are you from? I only have two looks. There's no middle girl. It's either I am glam, I am done up, or I'm like, are you lost? Like, how did you get here? What do you need? What could we help you with? Because you have to be lost. Those are the only two looks that I have. There is no in-between. I'm either going all the way or I'm not going at all. It's, it just is what it is. It is what it is. I call it balance. That's what it's called. It's called balance. Okay. So anyways, I'm in the Trader Joe's looking like a person who's lost, okay? And my guy is with me, and we're Cruising through, getting some some stuff because I want to put this charcuterie board. Ugh 
together okay because every now and then I like to be that girl so I'm thinking of what I'm gonna get so I'm over there uh, looking at the cheeses who knew there were so many cheeses that's not the story keep going so I'm over there looking at the cheeses and this lady walks by she worked there and she was sniffing and I don't know what she was doing and then she walks over by my guy he was over at the other side um, of the aisle not even where you would know we were together I guess I don't know how she put that together but anyways um she walked over there by him and I was just looking cuz you know hello so she was walking over there by him and she was walking really slow I didn't know if she was gonna ask him something or not I didn't pay it any mind I just kept looking at the cheeses and then she came over by me and she was actually working over there by me she was stocking the cheeses and so I'm like oh okay and then she goes oh it's you I thought it was him but it's you and I'm like uh yeah and she goes what are you wearing what fragrance is that and I was like oh she goes yeah I was circling over there by him because I had walked past you guys before that's how she knew where you were together and she goes and I smelled it and she goes I didn't know if it was him so then I walked over there again and she was like nope it's not him and she said then I walked over here by you and she says it's you what are you wearing and you guys I had the moment I had the moment where I was like the people who do it to me she goes what are you wearing and I was like um I don't know and I didn't know I really didn't know and I'll tell you how now oh god this is gonna be a long story you guys pull up a drink or something okay get some coffee some tea some water but this is real life and I have to share it with you and I was like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm wearing. And I'm like, oh my God, you must think that I sound like one of those girls that's like, don't want to tell you. I said, but it's not that. I really don't know. And what had happened was that I was wearing a sweatshirt that I only wear in the house. Once I wear my clothes outside, they have to go in the dirty clothes box or they have to go to the dry cleaners. I don't wear clothes out of the house and then bring it back in the house and wear it in the house again. I can't. So if I wear it in the house, I wear it in the house over and over until it needs to be cleaned or what have you. I call it like my house hoodie, my house sweatshirt. You know, we all have a house something. If you don't hit the like button, if you do hit the subscribe button whatever you do just hit a button back to the story so I'm over there like in my house sweater that I'm wearing out knowing that when I get back I'm gonna throw it in the dirty clothes or the dirty hamper what have you and she's asking what I'm wearing I'm like I don't know because this is my house sweater and or or hoodie and every time I get out the shower I just spray 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 fragrances on it you know what I mean sometimes te I'm testing fragrances sometimes I'm just you know uh, have a filling or what fragrance I want to spray and I'll just spray it and I don't know what that sweater had on it I really couldn't tell her and she was like oh you don't know and I was like no and I felt so bad because I know she thought I know she thought that you just don't want to tell me and it wasn't that at all I just seriously didn't know so to all the people that I have said you know you know what you're wearing how do you not know what you're wearing I apologize maybe you really didn't know what you were wearing because that was my house hoodie and I'm wearing it outside and I didn't spray it before I came out it just still had fragrance on it from whenever the last time it was that I wore it so I really didn't know so my apologies maybe you were wearing your house clothes and you didn't know what you were wearing I doubt it though I know you knew I know this one lady knew for sure remember that story I told you guys okay anyways back to it so you guys those are that was my story time Sometimes people really don't know. I said all that to say sometimes people really don't know what they're wearing, but most times they do and they just don't want to tell you. Back to the video. Okay, so those are the fragrances that I would recommend. Now listen, I have something else to share with you. Let's say you're like, Sheree, those are great, but I want something even more uh, fancy or luxur luxurious or what have you. I would say start with inspirational fragrances, inspired fragrances. Some of you are like, I really want to try Baccarat Rouge, but it's a lot and I don't know if I'm going to like it. Same with you, tell me that with Delina. Um, same with Killian. So I have some uh, recommendations for you. Now, I spoke about Be Layered on the channel time and time again. I stand by their fragrances, you guys. I really do like them. I really do rock them. I wear them myself. If you want something uh, for Baccarat Rouge Try 40 and you're like, I don't want to break the bank, I would suggest you try Heaven's Door. This is by Be Layered. I believe it's under $60. So there it is there. Hopefully that's affordable. I would say that if you wanted to try Delina, I would tell you to go with this one here. This is Be Layered's first kiss. You can see the dent that I put in that. It is real and it is good, good. And these fragrances, to me, in my opinion, smell really close to the original fragrances. Now, nothing's going to be the real thing. I'm going to say that. I'm going to put that out there. These are not going to, you know, be identical. I don't even feel that they can be. But if you're wanting something that resembles that is similar that is extremely extremely close these are the ones that I would recommend uh, this one here is caramel overdose this would be an inspiration for Killian's love don't be shy right am I telling the truth with that yes 
oh my god it's good okay we're not doing it we're not doing it i shouldn't have put that on but this one is that one and that one's really good tom ford bitter peach a lot of you really love that fragrance you don't want to break the bank you guys i'm going to be honest with you don't tell anybody i said this it kind of grew on me a little bit, but it's still too sweet in the dry down. It's just like a, a candy, just too, uh, I don't know. It's the sweetness as it dries down is just way too much, but I love the bottle. So if I can find it, like at a fraction of the price, I'm gonna buy it and just mix it with another fragrance because I want the bottle in my collection. Yes, I'm that girl. Yes, I'm that shallow. Whatever you wanna call it, bougie. Yes, I am. Okay, now that we have that out of the way. This one is called Itch Please. Now you know she doesn't use profanity. It's not my style, I don't like it. It's not what I choose to do, it's not my word choice. But anyways, this one is called That Please. And this really does smell like Tom Ford, uh, bitter peach it really does i have a, a a decant of bitter peach and i did this one and it smells just like it there is another youtuber hold on she sent over there's another lady um a rome fragrance a rome fragrance has inspirational fragrances too i'm going to put her information in the description box everything is going to be linked in the description box below and she does inspirational fragrances and this one is called a uh, white blossom and it's really really good and and she has candles and the candles smell amazing as well so yeah i'm gonna link all of her information and this white blossom is another inspiration for tom ford's bitter peach so i'm just saying there are options out there it just all depends on you i hope this video was helpful i hope i made it plain um i'm kind of all over the place because she sent this over and i wanted to get it out to you this wasn't planned it was just in post i just picked up the camera and i'm like let me just film because you know i want to get it out when you guys request the video and if it's something that i can do and i have the time or i can make the time i'm definitely gonna to do it so if you enjoyed this video please hit the subscribe button hit the like button and come over and say hello on instagram i cannot wait to chat with you and if you guys have any recommendations leave them in the comment section below if you ever have any video requests make sure you come over on instagram and dm me because i see them a lot faster over there and i will see you beautiful souls in the next one until next time you know the drill be blessed stay fit and definitely stay fabulous darlings thanks for watching bye